guys, it's Spacey Sims, uh, uh. and we are back with another installment of the Sims 4 Time Lord Challenge. Madame Ethel is like standing around being stanktastic, and I don't know why she wouldn't take a bath, but I think it's because Quinn was napping in the bathtub, and it's like, um, there's like another bathtub and another shower. And you should be able to pee and take a shower and take a bath all at the same time in that, because there's doors on the shower and the bathtub, but I don't know why no one wants to use it. Um, okay, so... I think the exciting thing whoa, today, whoa. Uh, because I looked after we mm. ended the episode, of course, um, to see if uh, Seventh got his first hit, because he hmm. should have, and he did, and of course he's already an adult, so hmm. his next thing is to get married That's to your BFF, eight. so I think today hmm. is wedding day! Uh. <clears throat> wedding day! Uh. Okay, that's better. Uh they kind of choked on the W when it came out. Ending day. Um, so yeah. Um, and I think we will just throw a wedding party here. So we should probably just put like a pretty arch up. Whoa. Oh, that's the mailman. I was like, who is this? Hey, Griffin Dodson. 9,000 simoleons. Oh, good God. Are you serious? You seriously? Okay, you know what we should do? We should put a wedding arch. Let's put it right here. Okay, anyway. Um, we're gonna put up a wedding arch. We're gonna put up a wedding arch. Um, so, I think... Oh, nothing is... Oh, Wedding. That's weird. Oh, it must be in the. I must be in the inventory. Inventory. Okay. Uh. Royal wedding swag. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use this one. We'll use the blue one. Not quite Tardis blue, but we will put this here. And uh, let me throw a pillow at the squirrel. Ooh, scared all the birds and almost broke things, but it got rid of the squirrel. Uh, I just threw a pillow at my door. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that there. So that's perfect. We're going to have a wedding arch. And we should... I don't... Th I think we're just going to invite people over. I don't think we're going to actually throw a wedding party. Uh, we probably could because then we get presents and stuff. But I really don't want to deal with like having to cut a cake and stuff like that. Like, uh -huh. I mean, we're still going to have them get in their formal wear and stuff like that because I want them in their formal wear. And not in, like, whatever. Oh my god, are you serious? How many drinks can you possibly have? This one looks so good. Is that, like, champagne? Uh -huh. I miss his making a flaming... What drink is he making? Make a, make a silent film. That's... We're gonna have to make this again. Make a drink. Silent film. Please act. I'm going to have to take... Ooh, he just drank from the bottle. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, oh, Quinn has to go to work. Uh, Quinn, you're going to take a vacation day. Again. Uh, vacation day, because you're getting married today, so you can't go to work. And now he's telling crazy stories. Oh my god, and this is like alcoholic fest up here. Um... Quinn has taken a vacation day. Yes, she has. Actually, you know, oh, Madam Ethel, can you tend the garden? Yeah. Tend garden, and let's actually, maybe we should, because we can put it here. Um, uh, yeah, we can probably put, yeah, we can just put it on the counter. So we can actually have a wedding party. So let's have you make a wedding cake. Um, oh, I gotta sneeze. Oy. Okay, sorry. Um, let's actually... Mm, okay. Cook. Let's cook a white cake. Let's just cook a regular white cake. Um, I'm sure we have one in here, actually. I really hate how when I'm pulling food out of the fridge, I can't, like, turn it. Uh, there is no... There should be no spoiled food in here, but... What is this? Oh, juice on the rocks. What? Where are you going? What? What? 
Why is he going upstairs to prepare a cake? Do we not have counters down here? Did they make us a kitchen with no counters? There's a frickin' counter right there. He is seriously coming up here to prepare a cake, and then he's gonna bring it down stairs. Um. Okay. Wow. Uh, we may need to remodel this kitchen because obviously, uh -huh. this kitchen was made by fools. Uh, because there is no way to prepare anything in here. They will not. Alrighty. Um, okay, so we'll worry about that. Let's uh, add a wedding cake topper. Uh, and how are your needs? And how are her needs? Okay. Let's have you... Um... Why do I not... Oh, plan a social event. I was like, why can't I ever find this? I'm so dumb. I don't know. The phone thing weirds me out. Uh... -huh. Do, 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 do. Wedding! Oh, we want a prestige one. Uh, bride or groom, we have them. Yes. Guests, we have Madame Ethel. And we have Isaac and Dusty. <gasps> Cancel. Oh my god, did she die? She was alive in the last episode. I looked. Why can't we invite Luna? Why can't we invite Luna to our freaking wedding? Okay, I don't understand why we can't invite Luna. What the hell? Why can't we invite Luna to our freaking wedding? She's our daughter. Um, does she like work? She doesn't have a job. She's unemployed. Why can't we frickin' invite her to our damn wedding? Oh my god, this is so lame. Well, then I guess we're just gonna invite them over and not actually have a wedding. Because... Like, she's not even in our options. Romance, like, friends? Like... <sighs> okay, forget it. We're not going to... We're not going to have a wedding then because we can't invite Luna and that is just so frickin' irritating. Like, I don't understand. She doesn't have a job. Why is she not in our frickin' list? This is so stupid. Not only that, but look at all the people that are in his list, even when they're not well-known. But you can't invite... Okay, half of these people are dead. But I mean, like, we can invite every single one of them except for Luna. Why? Um, all right, let's... Why can't we invite her to hang out at Current Lot? What the hell? Oh my god, we can't even invite her to hang out at the current lot. Okay, this is really ticking me off now. Like, between this and the stupid squirrel who won't leave Madame Patio alone, and it's making me, like, throw things. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry. That goddamn squirrel. I am going to kill it. I am going to kill it. I hate that damn squirrel. It will not leave Madame Porch. It will not go away. And I'm already aggravated because... I apparently can't invite, uh, go here together. We're just gonna have them get married. It's getting freaking dark, and this is aggravating me, and I wanted them to get married, and this is, like, the biggest fail ever. Biggest fail. Um, all right, so, and now it's dark. Uh, change outfit. So, formal one, and this is really annoying, because I don't want to, you know what, forget it. Inja, inja. <laughs> it would be a nice, like, moonlit wedding, but we gotta put lights out now, because it's freaking, oh my god, this is not, this episode is, like, such a fail. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. 
Uh, I hate that squirrel. I really do. It will not leave me and my freaking patio alone. And... Uh, it's traumatized my poor bird because I keep throwing things and scaring the crap out of him. And I don't mean to. And now he hates me, I think. <laughs> like... Oh my god. I hate that squirrel. I want it to die. So, yeah. Let's just kind of... Yeah, I kind of want, like, light, but I don't want too much light. That seems really gigantic. What about these? I can put a couple of these down. Does that light it up enough? I don't want it to be too dark. What if we did it, like, this way? If we had to look, like, through the arch? Nah. I guess this works. It's good enough, I guess. <sighs> okay, Quinn, just change into your stupid freaking, uh... Oh, whoops, we're not playing. <laughs> Play into your formal wear! Oh my god. Alright, ah. now let's, uh... <laughs> let's just get married. Yeah. I'm not gonna have a wedding, have a because lawsuit. whatever. Bobbin. Hey, to God. Bumble. I'm not going to have a wedding because we can't invite our stupid kid and we really wanted to and that's really annoying. <sighs> so this wedding is like such a fail and it makes me so angry. <laughs> we should be like, oh, it's such a beautiful touching moment. Instead I'm like, stupid wedding and stupid thing. And oh, whoops. Hold on. Yada felt new me. With the Tarvis oh, in the background. Merch. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's actually perfect with the Tarvis in the background. Oh, Lemita. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Look at that bling on him, man. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Wedding! Oh. Summer wedding! Oh, yeah. Yay! Wedding! Okay, we did it. Alright. We really didn't need this cake now. Whatever. Uh, can we do the cut wedding cake? Let's do a cut wedding cake thing so we can get some, uh... Where are you going? Are you going to mop a puddle? Ooh. What did he just do? That was adorable. I missed it. Aw. Celebrate. Yay. Chat with Madame Ethel. What's she doing? Claus. She doesn't even have a plate in her hand. She put it down. She literally put the cake down. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't look, Madam's there to celebrate. Sort of. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, so there we go. Okay, that's about it for the wedding. Now she's gonna go watch TV. He's chatting with Madam. Alrighty, um, we're just gonna get rid of this, because... There we go. And we'll get rid of the cake because we don't need to. Okay. That was uneventful and kind of depressing. You can go do something. Like, you're going to mop a puddle that you were going to mop a puddle. Mop. Well, you can literally mop. It. I guess it's certifiably insane or <laughs> super neat. You want to mop puddles that are outside. I also don't know why there are puddles over here, but there are, so that's random and weird. Um, okay. Are you finally going to go do something else? Okay, cool. I didn't get rid of that wedding arch, but whatever. Maybe we'll just leave it. Forever wedding arch. Because it's forever. Weddings are forever. So cute. You should probably go, like, woohoo with your wife. 
So let's go woohoo with. There should really only be one up here, person here, so it should be like woohoo. Of course, I guess if it doesn't say with, and it's by yourself, which is just wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong, but it's just a little wrong in the Sims game. Like, it's a little weird. Uh, <laughs> certain things just don't need to be in games. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so we're married. We got married! Ooh. Yay! Uh -huh. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so that was swell, so... Married! As... Easy. Should be so much more exciting than that, but it's not. Uh, let's see. And he should be on the next one. Earn silver on two dates with spells, so we'll work on those, uh... Next time. I'm not, like, ending the part here or anything, but we will... Oh, she's running. I was like, what is going on? Um, why is he sad? Oh, because he's insane. And uncomfortable mattress. Of course it is. Of course you're having a drink. I got married. I need a drink. Hey, you bomb. Watch that, boy. Actually, no, you're happy. Uh, look at how... Look at his lifetime satisfaction. We could buy him all the things in the catalog. All the things. Um... Are there things that we could, like, actually buy that we don't need? <laughs> Can we buy things? Aside from potions, always welcome. Oh, okay, we can do that. Why not? Uh, great storyteller. Why not? <laughs> We're just going to buy him everything except for the potions. Gym rat. Uh, we can wait till he actually needs that observant. We already have that. Speed cleaner. Okay, we can do that. He's not neat anymore, but we could have bought that when he was neat. We don't need those. A mentor. Okay. And we can make him a morning sim and a night owl. He's already a speed reader. We can make him a night owl. <laughs> uh, we're just going to make him all the things. And we'll make him a morning sim. An all the time sim. What's at the very bottom? Where do you have that? Professional slacker. Uh, we don't really need that because he's not going to have a job. Oh, we need Great Kisser, though. He's a romantic sim. He needs to have that. And I'm pretty sure we don't need Fertile. Uh, connections. What's that for? Start all careers several levels ahead. Okay, we don't need that because he's not getting a job. We already have Carefree. Antiseptic. We could get that. Uh, why not? Um... And, of course, we will have enough for our potion, because it's like a thousand. Uh, it's under that, actually. We don't need that. We don't need that. Shameless. I don't. We don't need that right now. Independent. We don't need. Incredibly friendly would be good. Uh, we already have frugal. Entrepreneurial, we don't need. We already have all that. Vicarious. Aha! We should um, get that, though, when he has kids. So maybe we'll get that in the next, because maybe him, he and I... Uh, Thrifty. We should actually have that. We don't need the survivalist ones. Professorial. Oh, he could write manuals. How much is our other potion? Potion master. What's that? Ooh. Oh, he should have this one, to be honest with you. He makes drinks all the time. Uh, Playa. We don't need that one. Perfect host, patriarch. We could eventually use that one. Whenever they are around their children. We don't need long lived, because, uh, you know, we already have fresh chef. Oh, a companion. Oh, we need that one. We should have just been actually paying attention to the ones that would work really well. Uh, we're going to have plenty because he's going to get a ton, but we might as well get him some stuff while we're here beguiling. We don't really actually... I think that one... That one comes with... Actually, the companion one actually probably comes with the thing that... Oh, I'm so stupid. Whatever. When he gets his aspiration completed, we didn't have to pay for it. But it's fine. I don't mind, because he can use it now. And where is the potion, though? Youth potion. Oh, it's 750. Okay, we got plenty. What was the other one that was good? What's the other one? Uh, thrifty, because we get money back on all buy mode items, which is awesome, because we have to rebuild the TARDIS constantly. But I thought there was something else. Oh, Potion Master. Do, 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 do. We're buying, like, all the potions. All of the things. Is this, like, always 
like, let's just get this. So cool. We just spent 8,000, like, freaking points. But he's going to be all the things when we're done. Look at him. He is all of the things. Look at all the things he is. Oh, alluring is what we get for his thing. Why does he still have essence of flavor from choosing a food aspiration? From choosing a love aspiration? He's had other aspirations, so why... Oh, because we bought them. That's why. Oh, we could have bought alluring. That's what it is. For the aspiration. but So we must have purchased the other ones before we ended up... Yeah, reward trait companion. So we already bought that trait. But whatever. Um... Bark. Soot, soot. So, yeah. Let's sell that. Oh, that's right. She painted a masterpiece. Quinn is sleeping. Yeah, we want to sell it. His phone was ringing. Yeah, we just... I don't understand why we can't invite Luna over. I wonder if she is, like, gonna die. You know... That's just really sad. She should have been on our wedding, but I, I don't know why the game decides sometimes that like people that are your close you, they, people that you're close to you can't invite to hang out at your current lot. It's just a stupid. Because let's see, uh, we can invite him to hang out, but we can't invite Luna, who is our daughter. We can invite all these people that we barely know, but we can't invite her. They live with us, so we can't... Yeah, everybody else we can invite over. We can... Okay, the Grim Reaper... Oh, God. I seriously wonder if she's dying, and that's why. We can't invite her over if she's going to be dead by the end of the episode. Maybe you can't invite them over when they're dying. I don't know. Where's he going? Okay, he was going to go look at something, and now he's talking about him. Ooh, he's like, uh. But then he's like, cool, I like that. And now he's going to bed. Well, um, this episode would have been better, except for the squirrel issues and the fact that nobody can come to the stupid wedding. Why are you in... <sighs> Sleep in here. This is your bed. You know this is your bed. Why are you sleeping in Madam's bed? Not a bunch of jerks. Man. All right, so here's Madam. Playing chess by herself. I can hear all the little birdies outside chirpy chirp chirping away. We're just taking pictures of Madame Ethel playing chess. I don't know. We've got nothing else to do. She is the only one doing anything right about now. Um. So we can... Oh, she's going to go do something else. She's going to go possess a light. We're just going to follow her around for a little bit. Did she tend the garden like I told her to? And now she's going to paint. Oh, Alright. Let's... She did not... Oh, she kind of did. Let's actually have her come out here and harvest everything. Doesn't really need to be tended. But we could use... And let... Let's have her evolve that. Um... <laughs> and they're still sleeping, so we're just going to super speed through. Oh, okay. People are awake now. Cool. Let's wake up. <gasps> she actually used that shower. <laughs> She has work in two hours, and she is ready to go, so she could probably get a promotion. She probably could have gotten a promotion before, but we haven't let her go to work in, like, two days. Um, well, she was getting married. We couldn't really let her go to work when she was getting married, could we? Uh, and Madam Ethel is uncomfortable because she has to pee. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see... He's hungry. Let's have him get up. Quinn's ready to go to work. Oh. This is really weird because, like, you can never see in here because of the... This is the only way you can see in here. Because <laughs> of all the mirrors. They used to stay up all the time. Um, okay. So, she's on her way to work. That's cool. She's going to work in her workout wear. Not something dumb. Um, I went actually to look at this. And she actually managed to get maximum body potential, so she's probably going to get her aspiration because she works out all the time, so on her own. 
Um, dance team captain, which is what, level two or one? Oh, level four. Oh, she's going to get to level five. Cool. Awesome. Madam Ethel is being flirty with the plan. Madam Ethel. Crazy ghosts who flirts with plants. Flirting with plants. Yes, she is. Uh, okay. And he's snacking on food. So, yeah, okay, we're doing really well. Uh, so this aspiration, we gotta get him one where we have to, like, go out and do things, cause, well, we kinda have to go out, we have to go on dates, so we will probably go on a date in the next episode. Uh, and we have to earn silver, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, we usually get gold, cause it's not that hard, um, unless it gives us weird things. But, and then achieve soulmate relationship with spouse. Well, he already has the soulmate relationship with her though. So this is what I don't understand. Like, uh, okay. I can't point it out because I can't move it, but it's lovers, spouse, soulmates, best friends. So why didn't that count? Um, so I'm just gonna have to, you don't have to chat with Madam Ethel. You're trying to take a bath. Madam Ethel does not need to be chatting with you while you're trying to take a bath. I know she's a ghost, but good lord. Uh, she's feeling flirty. We should find Madame Ethel a ghost boyfriend. Oh my god, that'd be adorable. We should have kept Edwin. <laughs> um, can she invite? What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. She knows Edwin. She knows Dusty. She doesn't know the other grandson. But okay, I can understand that. How does she not know Luna? How does she not know Luna? She knows Luna. Why? And she's met Luna before, too. I think Luna is dead and the game just hasn't updated because... Although, why in the world is she not like being removed you know what I mean like why isn't she showing up as a ghost still like did she she must have gotten cold from the game oh my god that's that's disturbing me greatly that like Luna must be dead and cold from the game how is he the only one that knows her and he can't invite her over but like Quint we we have I know we changed the house, but we didn't change Lu uh, Madame Ethel at all, and we changed Quinn's look. So how does Quinn... Quinn's met Luna, and even if she didn't actually talk to her, Madame Ethel has. I was like, for a minute, I thought I was on Quinn, because I, I thought Madame Ethel said she knew Madame Ethel. And I was like... She knows Edwin still, oh. but she doesn't know Luna. There's something seriously wrong with this. I I don't even understand how only he knows her. Also only knows Isaac, because nobody else seems to know him anyway. Aw, Tova, we used to harass her. When Tova, when she was a teen was stargazing was second and it was like well that's really weird she could be a future companion and then third made Tova his enemy <laughs> and then there was Mariah who was mean <gasps> oh and there's Ulysses who he kind of had a weird little romance with as what was he fourth yeah and then Edwin so, oh, all those people well we know Edwin got electrocuted all these guys are gonna die soon too I just can't believe that uh, Wow, I don't know what's going on with Luna, but I have a feeling she's going to get called from the game soon, so. Anyway, um, we can actually wrap this part up because we're going a little long. We had our wedding. Boy, we had some aggravations. But yeah, so I will wrap this part up here, guys. I will see you next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.